Good evening. For Poland Daily News, I'm Phil Goss. Another 300,000 doses of the coronavirus vaccine have reached Poland. That makes 670,000 doses available for doctors, with over 50,000 people having received the vaccination. For the time being, the vaccinations are intended for those in Group Zero, healthcare workers and people most exposed to contact with the virus. Meanwhile, on January 15th, a mass vaccination regime supported by an IT tracking system will be launched. Michał Dworczyk, head of the Prime Minister's office, announced today that over 50,000 people had already been vaccinated by 6 p.m. On January 15th, the central IT database will launch, through which people can make appointments for vaccinations. We will provide three channels, the hotline, an online account for each patient, or reporting in person to a local health care center or vaccination center. Our experience with Group 1 should begin toward the end of January. The Polish government does not rule out the reopening of schools. As the Minister of Health said today, to make it possible, the number of coronavirus infections would have to remain at around 10,000 a day or less. So we are again in such a critical period which will decide whether after January 7th we will be able to take a step that will go towards easing or, if the situation worsens, we do not exclude the hardening of the restrictions. Therefore, I urge you to treat this period of the next two weeks as a quarantine. This is actually a lockdown, and kids are locked up in their homes, and this is during the vacation. So if so much is sacrificed, I advise being careful with lifting the restrictions. Unofficially, the health ministry hinted that people who decide to take the vaccine will be eligible for some benefits. However, no details are available for now. Those who have already received the vaccination should be exempt from the restrictions because they will not spread the virus. Priorities for the first stage of the vaccination program are set for the residents of public housing as well as patients at public hospitals and clinics, people over the age of 60, government workers and teachers. Some claim that the vaccination information campaign remains inadequate. There should be a serious and substantive debate about whether the vaccinations are safe and whether the company that manufactures these vaccines is reliable. The government estimates that nearly 3 million people may benefit from the COVID-19 vaccine in the first quarter of 2021, 700,000 of whom are in Group Zero. The Ministry of Health announced the latest figures on the coronavirus pandemic in Poland. Authorities expect to begin including the number of vaccinations each day as well. For January 3rd, the Ministry of Health recorded 4,432 new coronavirus cases and 42 additional deaths, among which 34 were people with complicating factors. Since the beginning of the epidemic, 1,322,947 people have become infected in Poland and 29,161 have died. Three million primary and secondary school students in Poland are starting a two-week winter break today, but this year they'll have to spend it at home. The Ministry of Culture presented its proposals, the program called Royal Style Holidays. For the upcoming 14 days, students will be able to visit the nooks and crannies of Poland's royal residences every day, thanks to virtual walks and films. There is a lot to see, according to Minister of Culture Piotr Kliński. All our museums are interesting and incredibly attractive. The royal residences are something extraordinary and wonderful, and the collections gathered there are extremely attractive. Seven museums from all over Poland joined in. We will look north to Malbork's Teutonic Castle and south to Wawel, the centuries-old seat of Polish kings. Some of the attractions include Wawel Castle in Kraków, Łazienki Park in Warsaw, the Royal Castle in Sandomierz, or the Salt Mine Museum in Wieliczka. I highly recommend it, as these museum collections are very rich. Many well-known people from media, film and theatre have joined the project. History is fun. History is fun. It's energetic and can be alive, and we'd like to show that. I think it will be useful not only now, but also in general. It's a pity that we only just now realize that we can convey Polish history to our youth in this way. The youngest participants are already looking forward to their first online trips. 
I'm very interested in seeing what the castle in Lubden looks like from the inside. We hope that everyone will be able to enjoy these holidays thanks to this project. It is enough to sit comfortably in front of the screen and discover the secrets of Polish history. Democratic Missouri Congressman Emanuel Cleaver delivered a gender-neutral and all-inclusive prayer in Congress. Reverend Cleaver, who is also an ordained Methodist pastor, said his prayers to monotheistic God and Brahma and concluded using the word, a woman. We ask it in the name of the monotheistic God, Brahma, and God known by many names, by many different faiths. A man and a woman. For what it's worth, amen means so be it in Hebrew and has nothing to do with gender. For Poland Daily News, I'm Phil Goss. Good evening.